everyone, this is me again. Why men can't seem to notice you? A lot of you ladies um, might be realizing that some of you um, guys might be dressing nice, looking all pretty. You ever see? You ever notice sometimes that some of you might be going out um, to, um, to beautiful places, you dress, looking um, real fly from head to toe, everything might be on point in your, in your, you might believe that everything might be on point, but sometimes something could be, could be holding you back, you know what I'm saying, yeah, so you ever notice that some of you guys dress up nice and stuff like that, they go into a nice event, nice people, nice vibes, and nobody noticing you, it's like you're invisible to the world, it's like, what the hell, and then everybody, even you might be looking better than your, um, your friends. You might be having all the brands, you might have all the best hairstyle, best makeup, best nails, best everything. And you go on to this nice, beautiful event with a lot of um, men are wrong and stuff like that. Because it's for the ladies, you know, a lot of men are wrong and stuff, you know, you know good uh, men that uh, might be husband material or boyfriend material or whatever material you want to call it. And you, you realize, but wait now, why nobody's why nobody's um seem to notice me well one of the answers to that is that you can be spiritually blocked someone can can block your life so that you don't have any man you don't have any husband um when coming to relationship you just um lacking in that area some people might have the money um the career they have all the um you know me have everything you know, success, they have the home, the nice big home. I know a lot of people in Georgia like that. I know a lot of people in Houston like that. You understand what I'm saying, no? I know a couple wealthy people that are uh, women who are successful. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, they're very super successful, but when coming to um, the personal life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, they're having problems in that area. And I've been able to help a lot of people in the past who have been successful in their career-wise and things. And they were lacking in, in the personal life and relationship. And, you know, my team and I, you know, you understand what I'm saying? We, we hold the hands and stuff and we get them back on top. You now some of them have husbands. Some of them have solid relationships that lead, in, lead to engagement and different things like that. So it all depends on, on, on who, you, who you're dealing with. You understand what I'm saying? You guys see my testimony. See my um, track record. Um, a lot of you guys subscribers say, you guys could vote for me. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, when coming to that. I've gotten a lot in that to you guys. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I've like, given you guys that spiritual fixer glow. You understand what I'm saying? The spiritual fixer glow is only one way to, um, to get that. You've got to go to the spiritualfixer.com so that you can um, hear the truth. Why um, men can't seem to, um, to notice you when you go out, and, you, and especially if you say you're looking fly. If you say you're looking fly, that means something is wrong. Some of you guys can, can have a disconnect. Sometimes you might tell yourself you're looking good, but until when the spiritual fixers see you, I'll be able to tell you um, what it is. Because you know we liberals are. You understand what I'm saying? We don't play. When coming to style and fashion, we don't play. You understand? We're going to tell you the truth. We're going to tell you everything. I'm going to watch everything on you. And I will tell you straight up what it is keeping you back. And sometimes we have to do a little nip talk here and there sometimes in order to, um, to get to achieve um, you know, success. Because we live in a different world now. This is 2024. You know, it's how you look. People are going to look at you within the first um, two minutes. Two minutes, they're going to assess you and they're going to have an assessment of you within that, that time. So first impression always come. You know, people are going to judge you all different ways. Some people might judge you because you have an accent. Some people might judge you, um, you know, what I'm saying, how you look. Some people might judge, judge you for all different um, reasons. So you want to always give a first impression. And if any... Um, ladies out here realize that uh, that if this message is pertaining to you and making sense and you realize you know you use a hot check you understand what i'm saying and you know you've been going out for the last six months to the last year or two and every time you go out your girlfriends your girlfriends are not even looking no way close to you and they're getting a lot of people attention and getting numbers and and they're going out on dates and stuff and you have the career looking good this that you understand something is wrong you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I've seen a lot of people. I've seen some nice, beautiful um, ladies. And, um, you know, they have everything going for them. And they have a disconnect. And they need to clean up themselves. And that's the only thing that's holding them back. You can pray. You can pray how much you want. You could call on Jesus. You could do what you want, whatever it is. 
Some people need a spiritual push. I believe in Jesus. I love him and different things like that. But you need more than that. Some people need more than Jesus. Some people need that spiritual push. You need a healer. You need someone who have healing modalities in order to, to, to remove whatever it is blocking you. You have some people praying, whatever it is, you know, some people need deliverance. You have to go to someone to get delivered. And, and some people have, um, will be anointed um, by God to do certain work. You have some people will be anointed to help people with jobs, promotion, help people to turn their lives around to certain levels. Then you have some people who who will be anointed by God to take all demonic stuff out of people. It's how people walking around with demonic forces and them, demonic spirits and them. Some of them don't realize that. Not everybody going to have spirits and them. And just a few my um, a few percentage of people will have spirits and them. And most people who will have attachments might be coming from South America, the Caribbean, the continent. People tend to throw more heavy stuff at people from those areas, much more than people here in North America. Unless you maybe um, interfere with someone's husband or you interfere with, with certain people or maybe something could have passed down generational. That's the only way you will have certain spirits, something like you. But people telling you, oh, you yeah, are three spirit, five spirit, that's a lie. Most of the time, people lie. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So they try to, to manipulate you in order for you to pelt out money. But um, most of the time, some people will be having 80% of the time, 90% of the time, most people will have some kind of mental problem. Might have a mental breakdown. It lead to them acting up a certain type of way. Some people might come from a family lineage of um, schizophrenia, mental health running their DNA and different things like that. So people will write them off earlier clock. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's all different reasons. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so ladies, if you know this relating to you, go to the spiritualfixer.com. Let's get you ready in time for spring so that um, like some of my clients and stuff that when they come, um, they can cause traffic jam when they go out after when we give them that spiritual fixer glow They'll be able to get a new brand new life because basically I'm resetting back your, your, your life You understand what I'm saying? To brand new so that when you step out, you'll be able to cause traffic jam Shut down certain places everybody eyes on you and different things like that So that's what we do it over here. So don't ask me any question. Don't ask me this. Don't ask me nothing because I don't respond to anybody in the public um, you want to know anything, you've got to go to the spiritual fixer and come. Don't ask me for this, how much for this. I do not give out no prices, don't go in, no nothing in the public. A lot of imposters out there, a lot of people trying to be like me, a lot of people be trying to jack stuff. People want to know how you're trying to do this. No. You've got to go to the website and book your time. That's the only way, okay? So thank you, man. Happy birthday to all my careers and stuff. You guys have fun. A careers month. I know how you guys get down. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, Love you guys. You guys will be hearing more from me soon. Okay. So um, if this relates to you, man, go to the spiritualfixer.com. That's the only way I can help you guys to open up your road for you, you know. Okay. Bye.